everyone and welcome back to the channel and all the other obligatory comments you're supposed to start a video out with. Today we are filming live, not really because it's recorded, but we are filming in the Jeep because my daughter's in the background uh, where I normally film playing. So going over truck guns and weatherproof casings and other just cool random surplus crap that I want to share with you. Recently, I had the opportunity to go over to Thoroughbred Armament and check out his operation. And one of the things I snagged while I was over there was these uh, are these cool Saw 249 M60 weatherproof barrel bags. And inside we have M4A1 Block 2 esque type build. Now I'm calling it a Block to ask and an M4A1-ish because it is not clone correct because that's not really what I do. So I'm going to go over the build, what it is, what it isn't, and why it exists. So I had ordered the Daniel Defense RIS-2 rail from Thoroughbred two days prior to being invited over to the operation to check it out. I had nothing to do with the rail, I had no intention, no idea for a build, but I wanted the rail. It is uh, Iraq slash Afghanistan use. It came packed with sand and it was really cool. And while I was over there, I evaluated some products for him, not reviewed, but just gave him some feedback on some things he had in the shop. And uh, one of the most humble, coolest cats ever to deal with, by the way. So flat, uh, Thoroughbred Armament is in Flatwoods, Kentucky, which is 10 minutes from where I'm sitting, and I live in Ohio. So the tri-state is a pain in the ass to deal with, especially when you're looking at things such as SBR and federal regulations. That's where a pistol build comes in really handy for me. So in terms of usability, this is one heck of a platform. And I'm going to go over from top to bottom the surplus components I picked up while I was over at Thoroughbred. So I'd already ordered the rail and it came in a day after I had checked out his operation. Uh, while I was there, he offered up, and I paid for all the components, but a SOCOM profile 14.5 inch Colt barrel, surplus gas block, brand new gas tube, a surplus Anchor Harvey or Harvey Anchor Upper. I can't remember the nomenclature with the proper vernacular and the you know proper word uh, combination is there, but you get the point. Has just the right amount of salt on it, a little bit of uh, wear and tear, which goes perfect with it. It is T marked. Moving down to the lower, the lower is something that I already had. This was actually gifted to me from Thoroughbred. I'd ordered a Colt 727 upper from him, and in the process, I forgot to add a lower to the order. When I contacted him, he said, look, man, you order a bunch of stuff. I'll just drop one off to your local FFL. There was no obligation to post or do a review. Um, it was just a gift. So I already had the lower that I was using on a different build, the Retro 723 or Modern, or Modern 723 or Retro URGI. I never decided on what to call it. And then I wanted to make this pistol as heavy as possible, so I went with the LOL folding adapter on it. But really, mainly, the LOL folding adapter came into place because I really like using these barrel bags. And the cool thing about these is, not only are they weatherproof, but you can store your snacks. But I have room for two, actually, probably three 20-round mag or three 30-round mags, or four... 20 round mags. I got my vamp light that I also snagged at Thoroughbred, and you get the point. So, truck gun, Jeep gun, readiness, all in a beautiful concealable package that being in a tri-state area, I don't have to worry about breaking any type of federal laws when driving back and forth between, you know, the states. Uh, with an SBR, you do have to notify legally the governmental agencies and the ATF when you do so with an SBR. With this being a pistol, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, there's a different story regarding the Comp M4s, and I'll get to that in a minute because I also have one of the Comp M4s on a much lighter, handier package, but it doesn't fit in the barrel bag. I could swap out and put the LOL folding adapter on this, which I might do because it's a much lighter, handier package to an extent, but the uh, M4A1 Block 2 esque build just has a certain flair to it that I really like. But got my, this upper came with the KE2, and I'm gonna get to that in the next video. I'm gonna keep this one short. 
Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or any desires, let me know. And again, I'm not filming in the Jeep for any coolness factor, but again, my daughter stole my spot for where I usually film, and this is going to have to work. Um, hope you guys have a great day and stay safe.